Welcome everybody to the University of East London Sports Stop for the 2015 EABL Final Fours 
with the top four under-19s programme in the country battle it out for the national title. In today's first semi-final, we have Myers Cove College squaring off against Charmer College and in the second, SGS College versus Preston College. My name's Stuart Tanner and today I'll be joined by one of the best brains in British basketball. He's the GB Under-20s assistant coach and also the assistant at Barking Abbey, Mr. James Veer. So, James, what are you hoping to see from today's first semi-final matchup? Thanks, Stuart. I'm hoping, to, hoping that it's going to be a really good game. We've got two really good teams here, both very well coached. Both of the coaches are involved with the national teams. We've got a lot of national team players here today, so I'm hoping for a really good game. OK, so today we have Charmwood that was suiting the red outfit. And we have Myers Code, I believe, dressed in black. So, for Myers Code, the starting five, Kian Hickey, Alex Roberts, Emmanuel Cabangeli, Kiko Stavrez, L. Roberts. And for Charmwood, we have Tom Yome, Andre Arasol, Hafez Abdul, Josh McSwiggan and Henry Langdon. So, all the talking is done. We're getting it on right now. Charmwood versus Mayako. So what players today are you thinking uh, we should be mainly looking out for on each side? I mean, main guy for, uh, for Charmwood will definitely be Josh McSwiggan. Um, he's a kind of small forward, shooting guard, really skilled player. They've also got a, a very good big guy in Henry Langton. Uh, f for uh, Myers Co, they're really well balanced. I think they have five or six guys that average double figures. Their main guy, the guy who runs the team for them, is Alex Roberts, who plays on the England under-18 team. Uh, but they are very well balanced. They, uh, they, they can run as many as 12 players, so a uh, very balanced attack for them. So here we go. Charmwood in the red, Myers Car in the black. Langton and Russell to jump. And the first opening tip is controlled by Myers Car College. Hickey will run the point, picked up by Yome. Swings it across, here's Kiko Stavros. Stavros looking to go inside, drives right, attacks the whole world, lays it up, can't make the first shot. Russell hits the offensive boards, and Langton, the tallest player in the tournament, cleans up the boards. Here comes Andre Arasol. Crossing over, looking cross court to Yome. Yome gets inside, kicks it out, here's McSwiggan. 6'10, Henry Langton goes up, tough play, good finish inside from the youngster. I think that's something that Charmwood will look to do. I think they're going to look to try and pound the ball inside to Langton as much as possible early. When you've got someone 6'10", why not go to him early? Here's Roberts. Roberts looks for the screen from Cavangeli. Goes past Arasol, who's a great defender. Oh, right there, proving it. Russell goes up, foul, and continuation. Arasol can't believe it. He's looking around saying, no way, but the ref gives it. Foul is on number four. 14, I think. Henry Langton, I think, is on. So, 2-2. Two -two. Al Russell on the foul line with a chance to extend the lead. Al Roberts, I'm sorry. Langton can't clean it up, but Hafez Abdul gets the rebound. And here comes Charmwood College. One minute to go. One minute out of the first semi-final. McSwiggan. Is he going to try and come up big in this game? Myers Kopp gone early to a zone here. 2-3. Swigger lets it fly in the wing, nothing but net. Here you go, three point lead for Charmwood College. Having coached uh, Josh for the under 20s, I know that corner three is one of his favorite shots. His, his shot, I've been watching a couple of tapes on him, his stroke is pure. Kiko lets one fly, no good, and the ball hits the rim. Oh, foul called on the play. Is that two on Langton already? I can't be sure if the first foul was on uh, Arasol or Langton. So, oh, it's the first on Langton, so the, the foul that happened before must have been on Andre Arasol. Roberts to inbound. Oh, way too much traffic in the corner. Stavres kicks it across to Roberts. Roberts driving in tough. Zorz a contact but can't finish. And right now, Al, Ro Al Russell is a monster on the boards. Al Russell's causing them lots of problems on the offensive glass. Myersko is still in this 2-3 zone. Oh, Miswigan left open again. Rim, rims in and out, and Abdul with the and one on the putback. Great job. It seems right now no one wants to catch a defensive rebound on either side. <laughs> 6-3. 
exciting start to the first semi-final. Hafez Abdul with a chance for the three-point play. Can't hit it, and another offensive rebound. Langton puts out, and another! And a tip jam by McSwiggan. He's got five points early. He's come to play, it looks like. Kian Hickey calling out a play. Trying to get Stavros up at the top. Will they look inside to the big fella? Calvin Gelly. Oh, looked like nearly he walked. Oh, throws it up. Wild shot and one. He'll head back to the line with another chance to make a three point play. Referees calling that tight early. <laughs> Three early fouls in Charmwood. So, three-point lead for Charmwood with a chance to cut into it and make it two. Oh, Russell. Can't make it. McSwiggan cleans it up. Here comes Yome and Charmwood in transition. Step back into that 2-3 zone. Let's see if they can stretch it out and maybe get another three from McSwiggan. Yome nearly lose it. Tried to trap him in the corner. Arasol has it. Oh, crosses back over, gets nice. inside, dumps it off to Langton. Can't handle it. And Kiko Stavros picks it up. This is one of uh, part of the Irish Terror, Terror Twins, the, the Hickey Twins. Amangeli pull up from the foul line. Oh, the bank is open. All very high intensity right now. Miss Swiggan. Looking to insert himself in the game early. Abdul wants it inside. Langton, back to Yome. Yome drives the baseline. Oh, traveling violation called on Yome. And the ball will go back to uh, Myers Cole College. Substitutions right now for Myers Cole. In comes uh, Tim Favar for Henry Langton. So they take out their big and go with a guard. Charm would have gone really small here. Really small. Really small. And McSwiggan here having to guard the five. See if Myers can try and look to go inside. Oh, Stavros with the matchup that he likes. Ball gets deflected over. And the referee calls it Charmwood ball. Russell must have two or three offensive rebounds already. He's causing a lot of problems on the offensive glass. So, Arasol to run the point. Myers Coe still sitting in that zone. Yome penetrates, maybe looking for the backdoor lock from McSwiggan, but he couldn't find it. Reckless play going, turn out by Arasol. Here's the bounce with Swiggan crossing over. Dre goes inside, tries to kick it across court, turns it over. Kiko Stavres is getting his hands on every single ball right now. Cabangeli slows it down, goes to Roberts. Over steps over. McSwiggan steps out on the pick and gets called for the foul. That's four early fouls now on Charnwood. And in comes Emmanuel Burton for Tom Yome. So Hickey to inbound. Match up with Burton. Burton's like a little pit bull as well. He wants to go after this ball and try and get some steals. That's the matchup that they like. Stavros with a massive side divides over Yome. Roberts lets it fly. Can't hear. And a foul called on the rebound on, I believe, Abangeli. Cabangeli, sorry. So, one point lead, 9-8, Charmwood College up, 5 minutes 33 to go. Andre Arasol to Burton. Favar inside to Abdul. Burton, he's going to let this three fly off the back of the rim. And Stavros with another rebound. He's just cleaning up everything. Oh, and then throws it away. Just Miss Swiggan picks up the pass. Great in and out deal by Arasol. They've got the numbers if they're smart. Arasol, pump fakes. Nice Bounce pass. inside, Favar. Lays it up and in. Great job by Arasol in that corner. Three-point lead for Charmo College. Charmo College are wearing the red and Myers Carr in the black.
Here comes Roberts. England point guard right now, going to work. Kicks across court. Hickey lets it fly. Money. Money. Great drive and dish from Roberts. Left Hickey wide open on the outside. And he just let that three fly. Ties the game. 11 all. 4.33 to go. McSwiggan looked aggressive early. Is he going to try and pick it up? Maybe look for his shot. That's a little bit better by Charmwood as well. They're trying to get the ball inside a little bit now. Trying to get the kind of inside-outside. Last couple of possessions they've been setting a little bit. And in comes the other partner of the Terra Twins. Here we've got the both Hickey brothers on right now. We've got Tag just stepped in for uh, Kiko Stavros. Both playing at the top of this 2-3 zone. Abdul out to Burton. And a travelling violation called on Burton. So, Kian and Tag Hickey in the backcourt. Tag wearing number 13 and Kian wearing number 4. Hickey to Hickey. Dribbles cross court, gives it to Roberts. Oh, nice step. That's a spin move. Out to Tag. Tag Hickey knocks it down. And back to back, one Hickey hits the three. And the next play down, the other Hickey hits the three. That's two times now as well. Roberts has got into the paint, made two great decisions. Hafez Abdul, nice. this young man's an athlete, goes strong with the left hand. I think that foul might be on Russell, that might be his second. So out goes Emmanuel Burton and in comes David Isekia. One of the hickeys is out, and in comes Chris Buana. I think James is having nightmares because yeah. uh, he's the uh, Barkin Abbey's assistant coach, and uh, uh, Chris Buana just went off. I think he hit maybe like three threes in a row, got an assist, and then came down and hit a long range too. He did. He had. Uh, I think he would, he, would, he would admit one of the best games of his career against us. He had a great game. Abdul with the offensive rebound cleans up, and he'll be heading to the line. So, with 3.43 to go in the first quarter, Myers Cole College have taken their first lead. They're up 14 to 12. Out goes Russell with his second foul, and in comes Kiko Stavrez. Hafez Abdul to the line for two. Money. I've been impressed with him early. He's very, very active. Very active, yeah. I saw him play... Uh, I think they played uh, Itchin in, the, in their mm -hmm. quarterfinal matchup. And I was like, this kid's going to be a problem pretty soon. Oh, long over the top, can't be controlled by Hickey. And that was Abdul who shot the foul shot and then got back in transition to cause the deflection. As you're saying, very active. Yeah, I think, I think he's going to, uh, I think he's got potential in the next few years Definitely if he, a lot if he keeps potential. his mind right. Favar to Arasol. Back to Favar, wide open three from the wing. Let's it fly, can't even hit the iron. And Stavres picks up another rebound. I can't wait to get these quarter statistics. See if they're counting rebounds. <laughs> Chris Warner, Stavres. Looks inside, goes to Roberts. Roberts lets it fly. Can't hear. Hickey tries to get the rebound. Oh. And a foul called on for VAR. A bit of a weak call. They both seem to be fighting for the rebound. Not sure where the foul was there. I think both teams are now in the penalty. So this is one of the Hickey twins. This is Tag, Tag Hickey. So I've been told he's more of the shooter, I think. I think and, he and is the more, of the shooter. more of the point. He is. And right with the commentator's curse, I think he missed the foul shot, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. But knocks down a second. So Andre Arason, Charmwood College. Let's see if they can chip into this two-point lead. Let's see if McSwiggan, he was very active early, but now he's sort of taking a back seat. Here he goes, comes into the lane, puts it up, tries to use the window, can't. And here comes Abdul. Oh, lays it up. Abdul can't finish. And the ball will go back 
to Myers Cove College. So Chris Weiner to bring the ball up. Oh, they've got a matchup down low right there with Abu Gelli. Abu Gelli, go to work, young man. Nice spin move, plays nice that move. up all day. That's a matchup that I think they're going to like. With, with Langton out as well for Charmwood, I think that Myers are going to try and put the ball inside as much as possible. As you can see there, they have a big advantage inside. Yeah. Cross court, great look. Oh, lets it fly. Can't hear. Buana cleans up the rebound. Are they going to look to get Gavin Gelly a touch inside? Now they've got Abdul on him. Oh, Roberts. Oh, Roberts. Oh, Roberts. Can't finish. Another rebound. Oh, man. The beat by McSwiggan. And I think that might be his second. So, a timeout on the floor. Myers Cove College leads 17 to 13 with two minutes to go in the first quarter. So back in from the first time out from the game. Myers Cove College with a four point lead. And Emmanuel Cabangeli with a chance to stretch it even further. Hits on the first. Nineteen to thirteen with two minutes to go in this first quarter. Little and a little bit of pressure applied in the backcourt. One or an hour so, this is a good matchup. Yama is back in the ball game. With Swiggin sits. This zone's causing uh, Charm with a lot of problems. Oh, Arasol fakes to the side, pulls up and knocks down a three and cuts that lead in half. 19 to 16, Myers Cole College. Hickey finds Stavros, Stavros drives the baseline, throws up a wild shot, can't make it, and Abdul cleans up the rebound. Here you go, push the ball, young man, push it. Arasol, cross court, Laval with the floater. Oh, doesn't draw anything. Up with a shot, and here comes Chris Buana. Abengeli, Roberts wide open. Wide open, still can't take one. And Abdul gets thrown to the ground, but no call is made. And here comes Yomi. Barisol, Yomi wide open. Doesn't want to take it. Waits for the contested jump shot. Let's it fly, but can't score. And here comes Wano. One on one with Abdul. In and out dribble. Nearly loses it. Picks it up and puts it off the window. Maybe not the prettiest play, but at least he came with it. Kept with the heart. Oh, five point lead with 39 seconds to go in the first. Favar. Inside to Abdul. Abdul to Yoma. Yoma lets it fly. No good. Kabangeli cleans up the rebound. Let's see if they try and get something going to the basket and get some foul shots. Looks like Charm would have gone to a 2 3 zone as well here. 15 seconds. Kabangeli looks inside to Stavros. Stavros steps back, shoots with the right hand. No good. Cleaned up the rebound by Ezekiel. 
Five seconds. Time winding down. Who wants to take it? Abdul lets it fly from crazy range and can't hit. So, at the end of the first quarter, Myers Cole College have 21 and Chalmer College have 16. Okay, so back for the second quarter. For Charmwood, we have Yome, Burton, McSwiggan, Abdul, and Langdon. Still in that 2-2 zone, McSwiggan lets it fly early. He seems to like to get it going early in the quarters. Let's see if he can keep it up now. McSwiggan had five in the first, and I think he might have two fouls as well. Charmwood have gone to that 2-3 zone again. It looks like they're trying to keep the ball out the middle here. One and lets it fly from deep. Another offensive foul from Calvin Gelly. Calvin Gelly is a monster. He's a man child. Afez Abdul. Burn, cross court to Yame. Hits the swigger in the corner. One of the best shooters in the tournament. Here's the biggest player in the tournament. Langton can't finish up with the baby hook inside. And the ball is deflected out of bounds. It'll go to Myers Cole College. Myers Cole College still with a five point lead. 9 10 to go in the second quarter. Calvin Gelly back out to Stavrov. Stavrov lets it fly, knocks it down. That young man put the ball in his shooting pocket and pulled out nothing but money. Kiko Stavrov. Stavro is a very good player as well. Plays on the Bulgarian under 20 national team. Very solid guy, can kind of inside outside game, can post you up, can shoot it from three. Burn misses on the three, and Kevin Kelly covers up another rebound. This kid is a beast. It looks like he needs a sub though. Struggling, laboring to get down the court. Oh, and they're going to look inside for him again on Langton. Here he goes. Oh, spins the baseline, great move. Calvin Gelly, he is just causing nightmares right now for the Chalmers team. Langton picks up another foul, he can't believe it. Calvin Gelly got it on the post and just put him in a spin cycle. Left out Henry to dry. And he'll be heading back to the foul line for two more. That's a big foul for Charmwood as well. Langton picked up too early in the first. He's picked up his third here very early in the second. One thing that Charmwood really struggle with is their bigs. They only have really one recognized big in Langton. So him having to go out, they're going to have to play very small again. And McSwiggan's more of a finesse type player as well, even though he's around, what's he around? Six, seven maybe or yeah. something? Yeah. Yeah, like. yeah. McSwiggan does, I mean, to get the best out of him, you want to play him on the outside. So at the moment, they might have to uh, put McSwiggan inside. The other, the other thing is uh, McSwiggan's going to have to guard one of the big guys from Myerskov. And, and, and as we've seen, Myerskov are trying to get the ball inside as much as possible and go to that matchup. So, 24 to Myerskov, 16 to Charmwood. Myerskov looked like they came out in that first minute and a half of that second quarter and just punched Charmwood right in the mouth.
So back in. We haven't been given the live stats, but I think uh, Emmanuel uh, Cabungeli right now is on six. He's got make that seven. He's got loads of rebounds as well. And this right now, if he knocks this down, this is a chance to extend the lead to double figures. Cabin Gailey's been great so far. He's been the standout player for Myers Co. Knocks it down. Ten point lead for Myers Co. Charmwood are really going to need an answer. Let's see if it's going to be McSwiggan who rings that bell. Tom Yome looking inside to Abdul. The zone causing them so much problems right now. Yome's going to let that fly. Can't knock it down. Abdul trying to be on the boards and Stavrez, he's causing them problems as well. He may not be scoring that much besides that three, but he's been all over the place. Very active, very active from both ends. Wana looking for the screen from Kevin Gelly. Oh, goes right to the rack. Oh, rejected. Abdul just stuffed it right back in his face. And here comes Andre Arasso on the break. Let's see if they can score something in transition. And a foul called on Carl Ellie, I do believe. So, Chalmer to inbound, down 10, 7.34 to go in the second. Open shot for Andre. Andre can't knock it down. And a foul called, I think, on Kiko Stavres. So, it still remain Chalmers' ball. Out goes Stavrez, in comes Oslin. Arasol was swigging wide open. Look at the rotation on that jump shot. You just know that young kid can knock it down if you leave him wide open. Here's one guy who do not want to be given open shots to on his charm with squad. One that drives in, kicks it out to Oslin. Oslin thinks about firing. Goes up, kicks it. Oh, offensive foul. Not too sure about that. What do you think of that call, Mr. That's Veer? tough call. <laughs> tough, tough call. Just comes straight off the bench for his first <laughs> minutes, puts it on the ground. Didn't look like a charge to me, but oh. hey. So, eight point lead for Myers Cole. Myers Cole in the black, Charm within the red. Is Miss Swiggin going to look to take over? They really need someone to try and carry this offense. If, can they find him in the corner? He's wide open. They go the other way. Uh oh, wide open. You know that's money. You know that's money. You know that's money, Miss Swiggin. Great job by Arasol as well there. Much better offense by Charmwood. Swung the ball two or three times. Penetrated off the dribble, got into the paint, kicked it wide open for uh, McSwiggin there. Oh, leave them wide open. Someone missed the defensive assignment there. They just fell asleep. Someone drove in, no help, no rotation. And a wide open layout for Ellie. McSwiggin scored five straight. Let's see if they can get him another touch. He loves lurking in that corner on his own. Oh, here you go. He's wide open again. Let's see it fly. Oh, can't knock it down. Andre Arasol goes in. Drives a kick. Ezekiel can't make it. And here comes Buana. Buana, one one Great look. Inky goes up. No foul. Called on the play. And here comes Chan with a transition behind the back dribble. In and out. Pulls it back. Ezekiel tries to go through all the trees. And the foul is called on the play. So, Chris Buana out. And in comes Alex Roberts. Eight point lead for Myers Cove College. 28 to 20. 5.47 to go in the second. Oh, Swiggin, right under the bucket, can't control it. Tag Hickney loses it, great hustle by Hafez Abdul. Ezekiel drives in, looks for Favar, Favar goes up. Oh, nearly makes the bucket, but we'll head to the foul line to shoot two from the charity stripe. It's 
It's been a good couple of minutes for Charmwood here. Stringing together a couple of buckets. They really, for the first like four minutes of the quarter, they were struggling. It looked like how are they going to score? But then McSwigan had the the inside two, then the then the three on the baseline, and now they got a chance. Can they cut into this eight-point lead though? Tim Favar knocks it down. Seven-point game. So here comes Tag Hickey. Nice drive and dish out to Oslins. Roberts left wide open. He wants to take it inside though. Beautiful spin move. Puts it up. Can't score. And her first cleans up the rebound. Oh, now he wants to push it in transition. Nearly a turnover. Sloppy play, but managed to get it up. Three flavors on that scoop shot. We couldn't end up with a bucket. Myerscott calming it down. Trying to run the offense. Hickey against McSwiggan. Roberts goes in. Takes it right at McSwiggan. McSwiggan has the foul, so he couldn't really challenge him too much. Nine point lead by Myerscott. That's where Myerscott can hurt you as well. They're so good off the dribble. All of them can attack. All of them are good off the dribble. McSwiggan in that corner again. Let's it fly. That's the one thing they keep exposing that corner with McSwiggan, and that's the one guy you don't want to leave open in that corner. Cuts it to a six point lead. Four minutes 20 to go in the second quarter. And a turnover. Here comes Abdul. Takes off, no foul on the play, and the best Abdul gets the ball and comes out and scores kind of to a four-point lead. I can't actually believe Charmwood are in this game right now. Look like they were dead in the water right at the beginning of the quarter. Roberts lets it fly, can't score. Abdul another rebound. Oh, and a backcourt violation call. Oh, foul called on McSwiggan. And I think that might be his third. I thought it was going to be a backcourt violation. And next thing you know, they're superstars heading to the bench. Just in the middle of this great run they're putting on. It's a tough call. Myerscoff gone a little bit away from, uh, from what they did well early in this quarter. They looked to get the ball inside a little bit. Feel like they've gone away from that. Uh, on the flip side, Charm would have done a much better job of moving the ball, especially against that zone defense. And McSwiggan running that baseline. He's hit a couple of threes now. Um, let's see if Myerscoff maybe come out of that zone for a little bit I think um, they've got to make an adjustment maybe not get drawn up so much yeah. on the base or something the minute you see Miss Swiggin in that corner yeah. I'm not leaving him no I'm not leaving him. He's, he's already got nine from there and he uh, I think he had one in the first quarter and two in the second so he's got nine from that corner that's, that's, that's the most dangerous shot right now for uh, Charmwood definitely be interesting to see what Myers can do as well if they bring some of the uh, the big guys back in maybe Russell might come back in or, or, or Stavros see if they come in uh, to give them a threat inside as well. Do you think that um, Coach Merrington's going to leave McSwiggan on the bench now with the third, or do you think he's going to risk I, it and play him? I think he's going to come out here, maybe. I think it, it, from the look of it, it looks like he's already uh, he's already subbed out. You can't really risk him picking up his fourth. Um, so I think they're going to take him out here and try and ride the next three or four minutes without him. And you're absolutely correct. That's why you have you on board. <laughs> One of the best brains in British basketball, <laughs> Mr. James Weir. <laughs> so, where's the offense going to come? I think I think maybe Yome might get something going, but I think they're going to have to go through Hafez Abdul right now if, yeah. they're, if they're looking to actually put some buckets up. Oh, Kevin Gelly. That's a good matchup if he gets that in the low yeah, post. He needs to try and post him up here. Here they go to Definitely. look to him. Roberts looks inside. Abdul comes across double teams. Charmer, great job. And another the steal. Post. And a foul. Calvin Getty. He can't believe it. He's furious. Great help defense, though. Abdul recognized that he's got. Calvin Getty has a massive size advantage over Favar. Abdul just came across, got that double, and they got the turnover. Next thing you know, Calvin Getty's reaching in and getting a foul, and Charm would have put on the line. David Ezekiel, nothing but net on the first. Yeah. 
knocks down the second and we have a two-point game just when it looks like Myers Cole were going to break out and take over this game and maybe make it a blowout Charmwood they've just taken this the second half of the second quarter it's all been Charmers right now they have all the momentum tries to go inside picked off here comes Arasol Abdul goes inside looks, for Bar, looks to go up oh can't finish on the inside maybe the presence of Kevin Gelly Kevin Gelly screaming at Hickey to calm the play down one advantage Sean would have here at the moment is uh, Myers can run a lot of pick and roll and they can switch everything because they're so small looks like they're trying to get the ball back inside here Myers can doing a really good job trying to keep the ball out of the paint Oh, Kevin Gelly goes in, pulls up, can't make it. Oh. It will remain Myers Cos ball. Myers Cos still with a two-point lead. Two minutes 41 to go in this first half. Kian Hickey over to Alex Roberts. Are they going to try and get Kevin Gelly a touch inside? This is still a matchup that I think they should be going to. Hickey lets it fly, can't get it. Abdul cleans up the rebound. And here comes Dre Arasol. Bounces to Tom Yome. Takes the contact, lays it in. Looking like Sergio Lu on that play. <laughs> and we have a tight ball game. We have a tight ball game. All the momentum with Charmond right now. Oh, and another still. Abdul very active on defense. Here comes the first Abdul, pressing over. Yomi with a sensational play last time on offense, cuts to the baseline. Well, oh. rejected right at the top. Kevin Gelly. This young man's a monster. Hickey looks to the corner, kicks it out, and a foul called on the play. Will Shaw checked into the ball game, getting his first bit of action for Myers Cole College. Kevin Gelly, massive size advantage. Oh, and another turnover. Charwood with a chance to take their first lead for a long while. Here comes Arasol, oh, with the Euro step, throws it up, and another foul, Kevin Gelly. I think that might be his third. Coach Neil Hopkins not looking very happy with the play, with the, with the, with the call I mean, sorry. This run has all come off the back of uh, Chalmers' good defense over the last three or four minutes. If that foul was on Kevin Gelly, that was his second. Arasol short on the first. Can he give them this lead that they need? And Charmwood with the one point lead. With one minute 26 to go in the first half. Kian Hickey calls out the play. Shaw. Crosses over. Oh, nice step. Lays it up. And a foul called on David Ezekiel, I believe. Two shots to come. So, Will Shaw from Myers Cove with a chance to tie the game. Misses and Abdul just comes flying in for the rebound. And here comes Charmwood and Yomi in transition. Oh, nice crossover. Nice. Lays it up with a left hand. Gave that little feint to the side, brought it back to the left and came in and finished it. Three point lead for Charmwood. He's put together two spectacular plays for their last two buckets for Charmwood. And his defense has really picked up. Hickey drives in. Great oh, defense. Uh oh, uh oh. Houston, we have takeoff. Oh, Abdul Adel is going to throw it down. Surprise, Myers Cole coach Nick Everson hasn't used his second time out here. And Charwood, they're just, they're just in the zone right now. They're streaking. 
They're getting turnovers. Look at this defense. Look how active they are. A travel violation called him Kevin Kelly. Substitution made. Abdul wants to come out. 24 seconds to go. Hafez Abdul, who has been the spark plug for this team, especially on defense. And in comes Emmanuel Burton. Let's see if Chalmers can extend this lead. With about seven minutes to go in a quarter, looked like Myerskov College were just going to run away with it. And now all the momentum's with Charmwood. With a chance to extend it to seven, maybe eight points going into the second half. I'm not sure what the referee's problem is here. He's just <laughs> worn the uh, Myersko bench. Espoana subs in. I'm surprised they don't bring Rich Swiggin in for the last shot, maybe, yeah, in the corner. Yeah. No, mate. Favar. Time winding down. Andre Arasol. Someone going to penetrate and kick. No, mate. Puts it down. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Blows it up. Can't finish. Oslin's lets it fly from three-quarter court. Ooh. And no good. So, at the end of the first quarter, we have Charmwood College on 35 and Myers College College on 30.
Okay, so welcome back to the University of East London Sports Dock for the 2015 e EABL Final Fours. I'm Stuart Tanner and I'm joined by the GB Under 20s assistant James Veer. Charmwood have a five point lead, they're leading 35 to 30 over Myers Cold College. They turned it on in the last five minutes of that second quarter and they went on about, what did they go on, about a 15 and 5 run, yeah. 15 and 2 yeah. run maybe. Oh, Roberts with a pull-up over Abdul. Nice play. Looks like he means business out, out of the second half. McSwiggan with the three fouls and Langton with the three fouls. Myers Coast staying in this zone. Charman shot the ball very well in the first oh, half. Six Abdul. for 11 from three. Abdul with a great finish. Sorry to cut you off, you were saying. <laughs> So one of the Terra Twins, Hickey, Hickey to Stavrev. Oh, Hickey goes inside. Oh, nice beautiful move. finish with the left hand. Back to a three-point game. Tom Yomi had two spectacular plays. Uh oh, Abdul lets it fly way long. I think that's a little bit out of his range. Didn't look comfortable taking that shot. Roberts with the in and out dribble, looks for the stream. Kevin Gelly, who was a beast in that first half. Coming down, Kevin Gelly inside again, goes up, can't make it, catches his own rebound. The beast again, another rebound. And finishes up. Three shots by Kevin Gelly and two offensive rebounds. They just have no answer for him down low. When he wants it, they have problems. Chan would have real problems when he wants it down low. Here comes the Swiggin. The Swiggin here running that base again. They learned Kevin uh, Getty didn't come up to him. Oh, picked his pocket. Here comes Roberts, goes in. The Swiggin had to worry about the foul. And Langton too. Scrappy start to the third quarter by Charmwood here. And the kick ball is very frantic right now. 37-36. Charmwood have the lead. Charmwood are in red. They have 37. Myers Cole in the black with 36. 7.55 to go in the third quarter of the first semi-final today. Roberts lets it fly from the same spot. Can't make it. Afez Abdul with another rebound. And here comes the Swiggin. Oh, sloppy pass by Abdul. Lazy pass there by Abdul. And Alex Roberts, he, he, he seems focused. He's come out, made a couple, made a shot, taken for, another one, got a couple steals. For, see me, he's on it right for now. me, he's the key to them. He's the one who makes them tick. When the ball's in his hands, usually good things happen. He can let another offensive rebound by Kevin Gelly. Goes out and the foul on Abdul. He's an absolute beast right now. It's all heart, it's all desire. He's just putting his head down. He's going after any loose ball. The minute it hits that rim, he's not giving up on a play. He's going after it. Three offensive rebounds in under three minutes. He's having a great game. Emmanuel Cabangeli, the man child. So, with a chance to make it a three-point play the old-fashioned way. It's the rim, no good. Henry Langton cleans up the rebound. Here comes double A, Andre Arasol. Oh, gets in a lay, beautiful footwork. Thumbs it off to Ezekiel. Ezekiel kicks it to Yome. Ezekiel lets it fly. Oh! That one nearly hit the rafters. <laughs> David Ezekiel with a big-time bucket. Oh, Kevin Getty coming right back. Oh, single-handedly, single-handedly keeping them in it in the second half. Ties the game of 40. Six minutes 40 to go. Great look. Swigger drives the baseline, steps out of bounds. And the ball will go back to Myers Cold College. And finally, they get a chance to get their first lead. Since about five-minute mark of the second quarter.
So here comes one of the Terra Twins from Ireland. This is Kian, Kian Hickey. Oh, Kian with a great crossover, gets in the lane, scoops it up with the right hand. Whoa! Sensational individual play by Kian Hickey there. He just put his man on skates, came right down the middle and put it up off the glass. Beautiful. Tom Yomi lets it fly, can't hit it. Langton cleans out the rebound. Oh, he wants to go one-on-one -on -one now. Kicks it out to double A. Andre Arasol knocks down a three and another lead change. Oh, I think they might have called it a two. Kian Hickey. He just got executive on skates right now. Alex Roberts drives to his right, puts it up off the window, can't score. McSwiggan cleans up. Finally, the strangeness seeing uh, Emmanuel Abengeli get offensive rebound. Oh, back to back threes. Using the window. I'm not too sure about that form right now. Here comes Alex Roberts. Stavrev. Oh, nice spectacular pass. look inside. Langton got a piece of it, but Al Russell still strong enough just to man up and go all the way through the contact and still put it in. Mysko had some real success going inside to those two guys, to, to Russell and Stavrev. I think they might try and look to go back open. to that. Oh, I can't knock it down. Come and get it. Ooh, nice move. Stayed in the air for ages. Just couldn't finish up. Yomi drives in, tries to get the bounce pass inside. And a kick, by, kick ball by Kiko Stavras. So, Myersko still with a two-point lead. Out comes, uh, out comes Alex Roberts and in comes... In comes the uh, tag Hickey, the other Terra Twin. Playing at the top of the zone. Zekia. Pump fakes in the corner, gets back. Good extra Wide pass. Wide swigging in that corner. Let's it fly, can't knock it down though. Oh, nice move. Kian, oh, great feed. Great feed into Calvin Gelly. Four point lead right now for Myers Cole College. They seem to have the momentum back. It started with Roberts, then it was Calvin Gelly, and now Kian uh, Hickey seems to be taking over. Oh, great feed inside. Langton rejected from behind by Kiko Stavros. And here comes Tag, Tag Hickey. Stavros drives in, floats over Langton and in his face he gets the shot block on the dunk one end and comes down the other and floats it right in the face of the 6'10 Henry Langton. Six point lead for Myers Cove College, 48 to 42. Myers Cove done a much better job at the start of this third quarter, moving the ball a lot better. Defensively they've done a much better job of, uh, of stopping McSwiggan uh, and, and stopping the tempo as well, making sure they slow Charmwood down. Can see Josh Merrington here giving his guys the right, <laughs> reading them the right act at the moment. You might even be able to hear it from all the way up here from our microphones. He is going crazy right now, slams down his board. He's going wild, he wants effort. He thinks, but it, it seems that Myers have just come out of all the passion. Offensive rebounds, running in transition, working harder right now. I wonder if he's going to think about maybe going back to the smaller lineup that he has so much success with at the end of the second. Yeah, I think so. That, that smaller lineup without Langton in there, that's how they got that lead in the second quarter. Um, it'll be interesting if he takes Langton out here and tries to go a little bit smaller. So, for Myers Cole College, we have both the Hickey Twins. We have Tag and uh, Kian. We also have Al Russell. We have Emmanuel Cavangeli. And we also have Kiko Stavras, who just finished with the excellent play on the defensive end and then came down and finished it with a spectacular floor on the offensive end. Henry Langdon out of the game. Looks like Josh Merrington's gone to that small lineup. Oh, and a foul call. But trapped by both the twins. Oh, 
I wonder if ever the refs get confused and give the foul to the wrong twin. <laughs> they are identical, I can tell you that. <laughs> well, you grew up in a household with two identical All twins, right, right? That's true. Oh, we're swinging, let's it fly on the baseline. Let's it go. Looks I don't think he has, that I was going to say, I don't think he likes taking a shot anywhere near the top. <laughs> he just wants it on the baseline. Not sure what the referee saw there. Foul on Andre Arasal, I believe. Myers car very small at the moment. Uh, sorry, I mean Charmwood, very small at the moment. It'll be interesting to see if Myers car try to get the ball inside. Hickey drives the baseline. Goes nice up move. with a oh, beautiful move. And the Hickey twins, these Hickey twins are carrying Marsville right now, just with the help of uh, Abengeli. It's all effort, it's all heart. Let's see what happens right now with Charmwood. Up top to Abdul. Abdul lets that three fly. No still, good, we're swigging. Still not sure that's a shot that uh, Coach Josh Merriman wants Abdul taken. We're swigging, drives the baseline. No continuation, it's down the ground. Ooh. And a little bit of extracurricular grabbing by Hickey <laughs> on McSwiggin. Not sure McSwiggin like that. Let's see if it fires them up now. <clears throat> so, Andre Arasol calls out the play. Alex Roberts will sub in for Kiko Stavros. Wide open on the baseline. Zekia lets it fly from the other side. Emmanuel Cavangeli to Alex Roberts. Hickey. Cavangeli fakes it, throws it outside. Roberts drives. Lets it fly, can't get it. Abdul tries to clean up the rebound, but Tag Hickey knocks it off his leg and out of bounds. It will remain Myerskoff ball. Hickey twins have been the difference for me here at the start of the yep. third. It, it seems when they both are on the court, like yeah. uh, Kian was out by himself, but when his, when his twin came in, yeah. they just stepped up, they took this game over. Calvin Gelly lets it fly from 12 feet on the baseline, no good. Afez Abdul cleans up another rebound. Bavar inside to Abdul. Oh, rip. A hickey. One hickey strips it and the other hickey picks it off. Abdul's got to do a bad job there. He caught the ball at the high post. He's got to look at the rim first. Look for the pass out. He put the ball on the floor there. It's an easy steal for the hickey twin. So, substitutions. Out goes Andre Arasol and David Ezekia, and in comes Emmanuel Burton and Tom Yome. Yome was tough in the last few minutes of the second quarter. Yeah, he had a good first half. Roberts gets the screen from Russell, kicks it to Tag. Tag sends it to Abengedi. Abengedi throws it out, gets another bucket. The man child continues to beast inside. Kick ball by Kian. Kian, sorry. So, with 1.32 to go, Myerskoff are breaking away at the eight point lead, 52 44. So far, it's been a 13 point swing in this, court, in this third quarter. Via four seconds on the shot clock, Abdul's going to have to put it up. Emmanuel, Emmanuel Burton can't hit it. Another rebound from Emmanuel Cabangeli. One minute ten to go. With a chance to take this to double figures. Oh, that's a matchup. That is a matchup yeah. right now. He's too strong for Vavar. Kicks it cross court. Hinky throws that rejected at the top. Oh, Abdul gets the block on one end and then tries to get the block on the other side. But El Russell got the foul. We head into the foul line with a chance to extend this to double digits. Out goes Kian Hickey. Great effort from Hickey. And in comes Chris Buana. 
That's the second foul on Hafez Abdul. Russell off on the first. Misses a second and McSwiggan cleans up the rebound. Emmanuel Burton, 50 seconds to go. They really need a score now. Feels it's like it's been a long time since they got yeah. their last basket. <laughs> But well, they've only got nine so far in the entire quarter. They had 35 at the halves. They've got 44 right now. But well, this has been a 22-point quarter, I believe, for Myerskov. Let's see if they can free up McSwiggan in the corner. Here he comes along that baseline again. Oh, here he comes. Avangeli stepped down on it. Pavar lets it fly. Great rotation. They needed and that big basket. Net. Five point game, let's see if they can get a defensive stop or can Myerskov extend their lead even further. Roberts looking for the screen for Russell. Goes away from the screen. Kevin Gelly, he's been doing it all. Oh, but he stepped out of bounds. He can't believe it. So with 15 seconds to go, it's a five point game. Is this going to be a chance for them to even more get, get some more momentum their way? See if they run time for McSwiggan here to get him a shot. Time winding down. Burn lets it fly on the baseline. Wow. Oh! Emmanuel Byrne lets it fly and cuts it to a two-point game. Huge shot by Burton there to end the third quarter. Wow. Just like that, they had they had, they had like nine points in the quarter, and then the last minute they put five up. Real Nicely quick. set up here for the fourth quarter. Two-point game. Myers Cole up two. It's what you want. You don't want to come to these semi-finals, you know, all these talented players. You don't want to come and see a blowout. You want to see it come down to the last couple of minutes. Who's going to make the big plays down the stretch? Who's going to execute? That's what you really want to see. And it's perfectly set up. Myers Cole College in the black with 52 and Charmer College in the red 50. It's been lead change after lead change. It looked like in the beginning that Myers Cole were going to kill it off. And Chalmers came back at the end of the second. Then it looked like it was their game. And then straight out of the halftime break, Myers Cole were all over them. And looked like they were going to push out and extend this lead and then maybe make it a blowout. But then again, Chalmers refused to back down. The timeout by coach uh, Josh Merrington, he went absolutely berserk. And his team came out and responded just how you want it to when you're a coach. It also looks like Chalmers with that small lineup again has had a lot of success with that. When Langton's been in, it seems like they've struggled quite a bit, but when they've gone small playing with Swiggin at the five, um, it seems like they've had a lot of success. Definitely, definitely. So here we go. Going into the fourth quarter of the first semi-final between Myers, Cotton and Charmwood. They say pressure bus pipes, but pressure also creates diamonds. Just got the thumbs up from Mr. Sam Nita. So here we go. Emmanuel Burton to bring the ball up. Still facing his zone. On the aerosol. Looks inside to McSwiggan. McSwiggan tries to dump it down to Ezekiel. And Kevin Gelly picks up the ball. Alex Roberts ahead. His tag. Emmanuel, oh he wants to take this, he wants to take this, you can see it in his face, put his head down, steam through, another offensive rebound, David Ezekiel cleans it up and goes to AA, Andre Arasol. It's interesting now, they're playing McSwiggan inside, so they're trying to get the ball to him at the high post. Andre Arasol lets it fly from the corner. And here comes Hinky, Hickey in transition. Kian Hickey, give it to his brother Tag. Tag lets it fly, no good. Time was running down on the shot clock. And Emmanuel Burton, the smallest player on the court, picks up the rebound. For me, Myers Corrigal got to look to get the ball inside. Uh, Kevin Gailey and, and Russell haven't seen the ball inside for, uh, I can't remember the last time they got a post touch. That's where the big advantage for me lays with Myers Cole. 
Oh, McSwiggan, a number three, can't make it though. Had a chance to take that lead back and make it a one point lead in their favor, but it still remains 52 to 50. No one scored right now in this fourth quarter. Ball deflected out of bounds to Romain Myerskov. Alex Roberts takes the screen from Russell, tries to get on the inside. Penetrates, oh, stops and pops, lets his man fly by and puts it up but can't finish. Another offensive rebound by Abigaili. This boy just won't quit. Another rebound by Abigaili. Dumps it inside to tag Hickey. Hickey outside to his twin. Gets it down low to Russell. Great ball movement right now by Myerskov. Getting those touches inside. Abigaili likes this matchup with David Ezekiel. Puts it up and in. He's trying to single-handedly will Myers Cole to the final tomorrow. And turnover. And here comes Kian. Goes up with the left hand, can't make it. But his twin brother's there, but he can't finish either. And Miss Swaggin cleans up the mess on the rebound. Oh, great nice dump pass. inside. Goes off his neck here, and a foul will be called. I think that might be three. I think it's three on uh, Emmanuel Abengeli. Cabangeli, sorry. Yep, three fouls. David Ezekiel. I think Ezekiel has given us some good minutes off the bench. Hit, hit that three in the corner. Yeah. It's got some offensive rebounds, a couple of defensive rebounds. Back to back, nothing but net. Cuts the four point lead to two. 54 52. And Ezekiel subs out. Fiz Abdul back in the game. Seven minutes to go. And Kiko Savage has come off the bench. Looking to check in at the next dead ball situation. Roberts goes behind the back, crosses over. Beautiful play, flips it up. Spectacular move. Great move by Roberts. So for Charmwood, we have Arasol, Abdul, Favar, who nearly pump faked on that three and let it go. Burton in the corner and also McSwiggan. So, Tag Hickey subs out and in comes Kirko Stavrez. Stavrez has been very active defensively as well. they got that big front line now. Let's see how they're going to do. Abdul tries to go inside and the foul's called. Foul called on Hickey. Second team foul for uh, Myersko. Oh, behind the back dribble from Abdul. Oh, McSwiggan had it, but he wants to go inside. Great feed, nice wide open pass. favor. Let's it fly, but short on the shot. Kiko Stavridge with the in and out dribble. Brings it back up. Calvin Gelly, cross court to Roberts. Roberts, driving kicks. Hindley steps out of bounds. Hickey steps out of bounds. You can see Coach Ibbotson there, he's telling the Hickey twin, shoot the ball, wide open in the corner, he's trying to penetrate it. So out comes one Hickey and in comes with another Hickey. Kian out and tag in. Oh, Yome sticks his elbow out and a kick ball called. So Yome, Burton, Arasol, McSwiggan and Abdul in for Charmwood. And we have Russell, Gavin Gelly, Stavros, Hinky, and uh, Hickey, sorry, and uh, Roberts. Arasol crosses over, pulls it back, lets the three go. Nearly rims in, but Roberts cleans it up. 
So with five, five minutes and 50 seconds to go, Myerskov have the four point lead, 56 to 52. Alex Roberts, the England point guard, dribbling the ball, trying to get him in their offense. Oh, nice post play. Nice post play by Al Russell. For me, my current offense is she going through the post at the moment. Charmwood are very, very small. They're gonna, they're gonna really struggle to guard Russell and Stavrev down there. But unless the three fly from the corner, but can't make it. Cameron Gelli is everywhere. He's on the ground. He's up. He's, he's trying to get back on defense, find a spot in the zone. I think this kid's gonna be exhausted tomorrow if they make it through. Oh, Miss Swiggin. He's on the floor, losing the Looked ball. like he got fouled there. He thought he was fouled, yeah, definitely. Oh, tough drive. Kiko throws it up, no good. And they got a chance for transition. Tommy goes in, bounces up to Burton. Burton knocked off, and it will remain Chalmers' ball, I believe. Substitution, they're going back with the big fella, Henry Langdon. So Langton in, and he subs in for the smallest player on the court, Emmanuel Burton. Coach going with size over speed in this last four minutes, 47 seconds of the, uh, uh, potentially the game. Abdul, oh, rejected from behind by Tad Hickey. Oh, spectacular nice crossover, lays it up. Another offensive rebound. That man he, again. Must, he must be in double digits on offensive rebounds. He must have 10 offensive rebounds by now. Emmanuel Calvin Gelli, he is a glass eater. Every time that shot goes up on the offensive end, he is all over it. He's one of those players that every coach loves, does all the dirty work. Might not necessarily be the kind of flair player who does all the, the, the flashy plays. He gets offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds. You see the 50-50 balls, he's the first on the floor as well. He's had a great, great game today. Great game. 100% he's got a double-double. I just want to know how many. We're going to check the stats after the game. He must have at least 10 offensive rebounds for me, at least. And how many points do you think? He's got at least like 15, 15 17? 15, 16 points yeah. maybe, yeah. So, eight point lead from Myers Cole College. 60 to 52 with four minutes 33 to go in this fourth quarter. And Interesting now to see how Langton does coming back in. He's had a really tough first three quarters. He's been in foul trouble for most of it. Be interesting to see if Coach Manson tries to get the ball inside to him at any point in the next couple of minutes. Let's see if when they've got the big fella in, uh, Kevin Gelly is going to be still so active on the offensive glass. I have to see what happens. So here we go. Eight Look, point game. It's just starting to slip away slowly from Charmwood. They're really going to need to string together a couple of buckets and good defensive stops as well. A little bit of pressure here from Myers Carr. Showing us something different. I imagine they'll sit back into that 2 2 yeah. zone straight away, though. Yeah. McSwiggin. See you, mate. Here comes McSwiggin on the baseline again. Yeah. Andre Arasol lets it fly, can't make it. And the, the Kevin Gelly doesn't even have to move for the ball now. The rebound just going directly to him. Charmer can't buy a basket at the moment. Really struggling on the offensive end. And this is when going small seems to help, but coach is, uh, Coach Josh Merrington, he's he's decided to go with Langton, see what happens right now. But you really, I suppose he's, he's probably so concerned with uh, Kevin Gelly eating up all these rebounds. He's yeah. like, I need to get some size in there. Yeah, he needs rebounds. Good defense by McSwigan. Oh, Kiko Stavros. Oh, is that legal? Oh, is that legal? It doesn't matter. Spectacular play. Crossover right to left. Puts him in a spin move and then steps through. And that's a 10-point lead. Charmwood in dire need of a bucket right now. Or well, they could be going home. Game's getting away from Charmwood here. Desperately need a basket. This is the one I want to see with Swigan. Maybe not trying to hide in the corner so much. Maybe trying to be active. Even if it's not to find his own shot. Try and maybe create for someone else. Penetrate, drive and kick. See what exactly. happens. Just spotting up in that corner right now. I think I think when their when their offense falls apart like this, this is where McSwigan's got to say, "This is my time." Huh? It's become a bit predictable, hasn't it? 
They know where McSwiggin is, the, his favourite spots on the floor. As we say that. Oh, let's it fly from Crane. And with a massive rebound. Catches it up again. And Alex Roberts picks it up. As a coach, would you elect to take time off the clock a little bit, or would you be still be trying to be I, aggressive I, on offense? I think they, they, they want to get a good shot now every time down the floor. Uh, the clock is their friend. So rejected at the top and goes out of bounds. I, I, Ball goes back to Charmwood. I think Coach Ibbotson here is just going to try and run his offense. If there's an early shot in, in the shot clock and it's a good shot, I'm sure Nick's telling them to take that shot. Time is not on um, on Charmwood's side at the moment. They desperately need a basket, and this zone is causing them lots of problems. So, for me, they probably should have fouled a lot earlier there. I mean, they let them take off 15 seconds there, and then they fouled. Clock now gets reset to 14. They still had the ball on the inbounds here. 11 point lead for Myers Cove College, 64 to 53. 45 seconds to go in the game. They're just going to run out this clock. Smart there by Kevin Bigaley as well. He had a wide open shot. He just holds the ball and run out on Charmwood. Turnover with yeah. around three minutes to go. And you know, when you're up maybe like nine, ten points, it's not so vital. But if this happens, you know, maybe tomorrow if it's a one or two point game, it's exactly. things like this might make, make you lose a, exactly. a championship. But not a knock, Kiko Stavros, he's worked very hard in this game. A lot of rebounds, put his heart and soul on the line. A big part of why they have this lead. So, timeout on the floor. Coach Maronin calls timeout here. Uh, Charm would now get to, uh, to to put the ball in at the half. Well, See what you... he draws up here. I mean, he's going to have to go for something early. Probably look to get uh, uh, someone a three. Um, maybe Arasol, maybe go into to the rim, but he needs to get a quick bucket. And then if they score, they got to look to steal. If they don't get steal, they got to foul immediately. Try and extend this game as much as possible. For me, though, uh, Myers Coe are in, uh, in a very good position here. Uh, if they hold on to the ball, hit their foul shots, they should win out. Yeah, definitely. If they knock their foul shots down, this is definitely a done deal. Be interesting to see as well if Coach Iverson, if he, if he stays in that zone here, or if he tries to pick up man-to-man, -man, if they stay in that zone, it might give the, uh, the Charmer players an uh, a, a position to get a wide open three. It'll be interesting if he tries to match up man to man. Looks like he's staying in that zone. So, nine point lead for Myers Cole College. Chalmers to inbounds. McSwiggan isn't even in the game right now. Did he, did he foul I think out? He fouled out. He fouled yeah, out. I think okay. he's fouled out now. My bad. Oh, let's it fly, Ezekiel. He oh, Ezekiel knocks it down. Cuts it to a six-point lead. Tag Higgy here going to the line. I think ideally, Charm would like to have fouled someone else other than the, <laughs> other than the Hickey brothers. Yeah. Oh, he's off on the first. Pressure cooker time. 15.2 to go. Can he knock down the second from the charity stripe? Yes, he can. John with our timeouts here so they didn't get to uh, move the ball up the floor. Pavard lets it fly from the corner. Can't Looks make like it. Looks like time's going to run out. Catches the offensive rebound. Arasol lets it fly. No good. Another offensive rebound. Yome looking for the foul. Oh, and it's deflected. Out of bounds to Myerskov. Abdul can't believe it. He's already taken his shirt off. So the clock will run out. Myerskov College win the first semi-final against Charwood. 66 to 59. Great game. What do you think of the game, James? Really good game. Went back and forth the entire game. 
for the first half, the Chama did a really good job of, uh, of limiting uh, Myerskov to some really tough shots. Third quarter, Myerskov came out really focused, I thought. Alex Roberts did a great job. And, and for me, Kevin Gailey was the star of the show. I mean, Definitely. did a little bit of everything for them. When they needed a big basket, they went to him. Or if they were struggling, he'd pick up a big offensive rebound. Uh, for me, they have overall, I think Myerskov were, were, uh, were deserved winners. Great game, yeah. Uh, uh, Emmanuel Cabugeli was just a beast, the man amongst boys. So that's the first game of the first semi final today. Myerskov College go through winners till tomorrow's final 66 59 over Charmwood. See you for the second game very soon.